shocking story from Bangalore where a woman was attacked inside an ATM with a machete. In fact, uh, you have these visuals on your screens. It has been released by the police. You can see the attacker entering the booth and pulling down the shutter before he repeatedly attacked the woman with a machete. The attacker then escaped after robbing the woman. Shockingly, the incident took place just a stone's throw away from the Ulsur Gate police station. The incident came to light after people passing by noticed blood stains outside the ATM. The woman was then rushed to the hospital and is said to be conscious but in a very critical condition. The police are examining the footage to investigate the case. The 44-year-old victim is a bank manager. Before entering into that ATM, this, this person had pulled down the shutter. And after the, shutter, uh, after the assault, that fellow left with a small purse which this lady was holding. The surprising thing is that the jewellery which she, this lady was wearing was not taken away by him. She has gained consciousness now. And, but she is not in a condition to give the details of the incident. So our officers are uh, uh, there and they would be examining, questioning her. Oh, it was an unfortunate thing, but I congratulate the brave the manager. She never, she resisted. We earlier also, we told this bank, uh, uh, the ATM bank uh, executives, they should provide the security uh, man in the other thing is I started the ATMs and all. So you see, police can't go and stand everywhere and protect the people. The crime always will take place. But we have to take precautionary whoever the ATM is a mini bank only. The cash you get there. It is the duty of the banks to give protect uh, and customers also. For more on that, we are now being joined by Sharaja Varma from Bangalore. Sharaja, shocking incident there. Uh, first, what is the condition of the woman right now? We believe she underwent an operation last night. Well, Pallavi, uh, the woman is undergoing treatment at a private hospital in the outskirts of the city. Uh, yesterday, after the attack happened, first she was shifted to a government hospital. Later on, she was shifted to Nimhans Hospital. And after that, she was shifted to a third a hospital, VGS Hospital, which is on the outskirts of the city. Uh, she reportedly underwent a surgery late last night. Doctors are telling that she, because of the impact uh, of the machete with which the attacker hit her, she received multiple injuries uh, in her brain. There are uh, multiple uh, fractures in her uh, skull because of which uh, the surgery had to be done. Now she is recovering. Her condition is critical, but doctors are telling that she is stable. She is in a drowsy condition right now. Right. Also, Shalja, if I can ask you, what's the security like outside this locality? Have residents complained in the past? Well, uh, Parishad, this, uh, this location, we are standing just a few feet away from uh, the ATM where the attack happened just 24 hours back. This is right in the heart of the city corporation circle. As you can see, it's a very, very busy area. And uh, when we went uh, inside the ATM just a short while back, we did not see a security guard even now. Even after 24 hours after the attack, there was not a single security guard. It was totally unmanned. It was lying uh, flat open. There was not a single person manning the ATM even now. Uh, so this, in, this puts customers at risk. Yesterday also, uh, reportedly, there was no guard right. uh, inside the ATM nor outside, as you can see from right. the footage, CCTV footage. Right.